Why we hear you? Welcome to Kinefield High Field Indonesia Podcast episode 11 with me, Miss Uchi. And today we have a very special guest, a young talented writer who has published a book called Dunia Wanawani with her two cousins. It's really intriguing for me to meet her and ask so many things about these books that has touched me warmly and I believe you do so. So without further ado, let's say hello to our guest, Felicia Akela Simbolon. Hi! How are you today? I'm good and I'm really excited to share to you guys. Thank you for coming today, Felicia. Thank you, Miss. Okay. And this is... We're going to talk about this today, okay? About okay, your wonderful book that you write with your two cousins. And this is... Uh, first, I would like to ask about the title first. Why you guys decide... Is it you who decide the title or the three of you? Yeah, we decided together mm-hmm. because the book is full of imagination. So we decided to name it Dunia Warna Warni. Oh, you? Yeah. Because it's based on a lot of imagination. Yeah, and it's colorful. And it's colorful. That's why it's called Dunia yeah. Warna Warni. Okay, can you share a glimpse about this book? Okay, so this book is a book that I wrote together with my cousins. And fun fact, this book is already copied four times and it's all over Indonesia, specifically in Sumatra Island, which is in Medan, um, Nias, Samosir, and also Padang. And then in Java Island and Nusa Tenggara Barat, Sumba Foundation, and Kalimantan. Wow! And what is the book all about? This book is... An anthology book. Yeah, so uh, there just, are more than one stories. Yeah. Yes, it's more than one story and it's all imagination and that's why you call it Dunia Wana Warni because yeah. it's colorful and how wide is the genre? I mean, the story, is it about uh, folklore or whether it's about uh, love between parents and children? Or what, what is it? Uh, Maybe you, you you don't have to uh, share the detail because we want to encourage our audience mm. to please read the book because it's really, really good. But uh, what about from the writer itself? Oh, okay. So one of my favorite story in this book is the title is Jagoan. I forgot. Jagoan Misteri. Eh, it's Tempat Misterius dan Jagoan Sao Sambal. Okay. So it's about a boy who lost his dad, his father, in a mysterious way. So he wants to find out like that myth. Okay, and yeah. this is a story that you wrote, right? Yeah, it's yeah, a okay. horror mystery. Yeah, it's a horror mystery. Okay, and uh, you uh, write, how many stories did you write here? Mm, four. Four. How many yeah. did your cousin write? Three. Three. Yeah. How, why do you decide to write Because you already write four, why don't you write all of the story by yourself? Why you invite your cousin to join this book? Oh, uh, okay. So before, it's actually in the pandemic, we rarely meet. So we often made a video call. There we played games and communicate together. And then over time, I felt like we need to create something and be productive. So that's where we plan and start that book. Oh, this the yeah. so the beginning of the idea yeah. is because you play together. It's like, yeah. okay, instead of playing, I think we should make something that's. And it's, I think it's a really wise decision because mm-hmm. what you write, it will stay over time. Yeah. And is when you grow up, like if you later on make another book, and I believe your writing skill will be getting better and better and better. Yeah. You will have the solid proof of your first milestone like you can show to your audience later on you can start anytime right yes do you have any fear when you want to start producing this one or because you take it so like okay let's 
guys, let's write a book. Is it that easy or how is the process started? So before starting a book, I was thinking about the future. So if we already done writing this book, will any publisher take our stories? So that's what I think. That's why it makes me a little bit worried. Yeah. Also, the worriness is about not not about the writing process, but uh, more to Publishing. whether yeah whether this book is going to meet the audience or not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how is the writing process? It's actually pretty good. Sometimes I feel lazy writing. <laughs> yeah. So because of that, we found a solution, and also because the illustrator has different imagination with us, we illustrate our own pictures there. Oh, is it all of the picture here? Yes. Illustrated by the three of you? Yes. Wow, okay. That's a really big freedom for <laughs> someone who create their first uh, book. That's that's really that's really nice. Thank Congratulations you. for you Thank and you, your yes. and your cousin. And what inspired you to write? Before I ask you about how do you start with your cousin, but what inspired you to write actually? Oh, Um, because reading is my hobby, I've ever dreamed of writing my own book, and also my fifth grade teachers, which is Pak Dede and Miss Siska. They are some of my favorite teachers, and so they like to give me a writing assignment, and then they saw the talent, so they've been supporting me to write a book. Yeah. So you you have you got the support from school, school, and, and of then? course uh, my parents. Your parents, okay. Yeah. How big is the support that you got from your parents? Really big. If they don't support me, I won't write this book. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Have you said thank you? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Never forget to say thank you to our parents <laughs> because they done so many things for us, right? Yeah. Maybe you can write write a book about that, <laughs> about how grateful we are. To yeah. our parents, that's going to be a meaningful present. Maybe on Mother's Day or mm-hmm. on their birthday or wedding anniversary. I just try to give you ideas. Okay, just now I try to give you ideas. Maybe ideas come from so many places, from around ourselves. Uh, what about yours? How is your writing process begin and end it? Like. Where you got the idea? Once you got the idea, what you are going to do about it, and how you going to edit the process? Hmm. So, uh, for me, like we just start, mm-hmm. and then there's some delays. At that time, we have some delays. Oh, on the process. The, yeah, on the process. So I was like. Kind of like, wait, are we going to publish a book or no? Like that. So that makes me confused, kind of confused and worried. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I'm also lazy on writing. That's why. <laughs> But you keep on doing it. Yeah. But you got four stories and your cousin submit three. It means you got more than them, right? Yeah, because I also submit my old stories. Oh, you already have yeah, a collection have of stories. Yeah, I have a collection of stories and I publish some of them. Okay. And after you get the, the idea, do you directly write the whole story or you write the main idea first? Oh, I write the points first and mm-hmm. then I combine it into one sentence, into a paragraph and into a story. Oh, so that's your uh, step of making yeah. your story from ideas into a complete story. Yeah. Uh, do you have a moment or session of reviewing the com- a complete story that you have done directly? Okay. Maybe like after you do all those steps and then you review it again or you put it first? Um, because we write this book together, so after we are done in writing something, we discuss it together, like, um, what's your suggestion like that? And then at last, when we already like complete all of our story targets, um, the editor, which is my mom, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, edit it and revise some... Some of the... Yeah. 
part of the right, story. Oh, okay. Uh, even though that's the, the editor is not your mom, I believe the editor will. That's the, because that's their job. They yeah. they need to revise some part of uh, our writing that is not suitable. Yeah. Sometime like that. Oh, that's nice. Wow, you really got a big support from your family. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So, um, it's really it's really nice. Uh, and actually, I want to ask a lot about uh, your book, but. Uh, You already share about how you make this one. Uh, before we close our podcast today, Felicia, if your friends uh, wants to follow your footstep, other than the suggestion that you give them before, do you want to share something if they want to become a writer also? Um, maybe if you want to write a book, you don't have to think that um, the story has to have a moral value or yeah, things like that. You just need to write. Um, yeah, uh, you have to write with your imagination as long as there is no uh, bad influence. So it's everything is a good story. Okay. Wow. Thank you very much. Okay. One more time. The suggestion from Felicia: If you want to start writing, start run, start now. It's not have to be something difficult or with heavy thought. Just pick up everything that uh, on your surround, and if you think interest is interesting enough, you can start writing from that. And then the second one that Felicia just shared is if you think that. Every story has to have a moral. It doesn't have to be like that. Yeah. You just have to make fun. Have fun. Sorry. You have to. You just have to have fun on writing it, and entertain others. That will be more than enough. Yeah. Right? Okay. Thank you very much, Felicia, for Thank your you, time Ms. today. Keep the spirit on your writing journey. Don't and forget <laughs> to read Dunia Warna Warni. Yes. Also, don't forget. <laughs> Get this on the nearest store book. Don't forget <laughs> to buy this. Dunia Wana Wani. And this book will bring you to colorful world. Just like the title said, mm-hmm. Dunia Wana Wani. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. And we will see you on the next episode of Why. Uh, let's close this one. Stay happy and healthy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.